Boxes of shoelaces, six boxes of shoe nails. <coughs> no, no, shoe nails, not blue pails. Giddy up. <laughs> and I need more shoe polish, too. <laughs> Grandpa, watch me, watch me. Giddy up. Boy, molasses. <laughs> yes, hey. that's all. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Whoa! Did you see us, Grandpa? Yes, and I heard you too, Franny. It isn't good manners to interrupt when someone's on the phone. Sorry, Grandpa. Sometimes molasses and I get carried away. That's all right. Crab apples. Manners can get in the way of having fun, can't they? A customer! And what can we do for you? I went to a costume party at Sir Lancelot, but I sort of left these outside in that big storm. And now you sound like Sir Squeaks a lot. Well, don't worry. These squeaking is my specialty. Franny, could you put these in a fix-it box, please? Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> Where will my feet take me today? Boxes. I wonder who lives here. I do. Who are you? Ah! <laughs> ah! You're a dragon. You're a knight. Oh, no. I'm not even a real knight. I only borrowed these boots. Oh, phew. In that case, I'm pleased to meet you. I'm Arnie. I'm Franny. It's nice to meet you, too. Sorry about your sandwiches. Oh, that's okay. I don't need them after all. But aren't you expecting company? I already had company. My friend Wendell the Wizard just left. He didn't even finish his lunch. Why? Wendell's so picky about manners. I did some teensy things wrong, and he called my table manners beastly. Gee, he does sound picky. Who cares about silly old manners? Exactly. They only get in the way of having fun. Hey, there's still plenty of food. Why don't you stay for lunch? I'd love to. Then pull up a chair. And since we both think manners are silly, let's make it no manners allowed. Okay, that sounds like fun. What a pretty napkin. No, oh, we don't need napkins. And we don't need forks or spoons either. They're for people with manners. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the butter knife. Butter knife? What <laughs> butter knife? Since we're eating with new manners, let's start with dessert. Cookies! I want the gingerbread one. Mmm, 
fantastic. No. Did you have to take the gingerbread cookie? It's my favourite. I'm sorry. I guess I should have asked first. No, don't be silly. That would have been good manners. <laughs> Besides, we have lots of other food, like toast. <gasps> You're a very good toaster. Can I have mine with butter? Of course. Allow me. Don't butter it with your finger. Hey, you were the one who got rid of the butter knife. Um, maybe I'll have something else. Mmm, <gasps> chocolate pudding. <clears throat> oh, this is the life, right, Franny? Right, Arnie. Wendell doesn't know what he's missing. Franny? Um, your slurping is really getting under my scales. But I have to slurp. I don't have a spoon. Besides, it tastes better when you slurp. Really? Let me try. Oh. Oh. I'm so sorry. My claws were all slippery from the butter. Oh, this is all my fault. It's my fault, too. I did make you put away the butter knife. But I was the one who wanted to have lunch with no manners in the first place. Oh. It sounded like a good idea. I suppose Wendell was right. Good manners are important. Otherwise, everything gets messy, and we end up not being nice to each other. From now on, I'm going to have the very best manners. I'll be a perfect, gentle beast. Good for you, Arnie. I'm sorry I said your muffins were yucky, and I'm sorry I picked my teeth with my claws. And? And I'm sorry I was showing off my fire breathing at the table. Very well. I accept your apology. Hooray! <laughs> Does this mean I'm your lunch buddy again? I'll think about it. Oops. I almost forgot. These are for you. Gingerbread biscuits. My favourite. Mine too. But these ones are just for you. He made them in star and moon shapes, just like on your hat. Oh my, that's so thoughtful. Thank you. I can see that you really have changed, Arnie. Now, where are my manners? Come in. We can all have tea and biscuits. I wish I could, but I should go home to my grandpa now. Oh, do you have to? Yes, but thank you for lunch. And it was nice to meet you too, Wendell. Come back anytime, Freddy. But before you go, there's one little thing I'd like to give you. <gasps> Puddingus, clean up it up. are gone. Thanks. You're welcome. Goodbye, Franny. Bye. Come back soon. Bye, Arnie. Bye, Wendell. <laughs> that was Nanorific. Arnie's napkin. You never know when a napkin will come in handy. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox. Hi, Grandpa. Am 
I interrupting you? Not at all. What have you been up to? Lots of things. I met a dragon named Arnie, and we had lunch with no manners allowed. <laughs> really? Uh-huh. But I didn't get any toast, and he didn't get any pudding. So we learned that manners are pretty useful after all. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. Grandpa, I'd like to read a story, but my books are up on the shelf. Could you please reach one for me? Of course. Which book do you want? The one about the dragons. Good choice. Here you are. Thank you, Grandpa. Where will my feet take me tomorrow? <laughs> Hello, Pickle. Hello, Pickle. What are you doing over there, Franny dear? I'm playing with Pickle. Hello, Pickle. <laughs> See, Grandpa? He likes it. Hello, Pickle. Hello, Pickle. <laughs> now, Franny, I don't think Pickle likes it when you tap on his bowl. You can look at him, but please don't touch the glass. A new customer. Happy morning to you, sir. How can we meet your shoe repair needs? Have you ever spent days in a stream? Fly fishing? Trying to catch the most legendary fish in the country? No, but I have spent lots of time in a shoe shop doing, if I do say so myself, legendary repairs. Like these wet and squishy boots. We'll have them ready by Friday. In the fix-it box they go. My feet take me today. A muddy swamp. Yay! One, two, three, four, five. Hi, Graham. Huh? Over here. Well, okay. I don't see you, Lester. <laughs> what a right. Not over there. Over here. But I... I thought you said... Over here. What? Hey, psst. You're gonna ruin the joke. Come on, I'll show you. Over here? Oh, where are you? I'm so confused. <laughs> Graham, you're a riot. <laughs> that is pretty funny. No, it isn't. Graham never thinks anything's funny. You're a great guy, Graham. Goodbye, Lester. Well, come on. Don't be like that. What's your name, lady? Franny Fan Tootsie. Franny Fan Whatsy? Never mind. I'll call you Googly Eyes. I like you, Googly Eyes. You laugh at my jokes. Is Graham your friend? The best I got. But who needs him? I got you to play with now. How's about a tour of the swamp? Is there lots of mud to jump in? I like jumping. I'm a frog. Jumping's what I do. Come on. Oh, hey. Hang on a sec. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, I'll be right here. That Lester's a funny frog. Okay, coming on. This way! Over here! Hi! Gotcha! I'm over here! What? But I thought... Ha ha ha! A real riot! 
It's not that funny. I'm just kidding. Come over here. Okay. Uh-oh. My boots stuck. <laughs> Looks like you're in a sticky situation. Yeah. <clears throat> Whoa. Oops. <laughs> oh, stop it. I can't breathe. Why ain't you laughing? Because I don't think anything's funny. What happened to you? First, Lester was here, and then he was there. And then I got confused, and my boot got stuck. Let me help you. And I'll just wriggle under here, and... Whoosh! <laughs> Thank you, Graham. My pleasure. Would you care to join me on the rest of my walk? I would love to. Where are you going? The fun's just starting. Can I come? Absolutely not. Your pranks hurt people's and snakes' feelings. I was just joking. <laughs> Of lemonade. I see a pair of shoes. And here comes even more glasses of lemonade. There, and there, and there. <laughs> you really like lemonade. I love lemonade. I drink it every day if I could. Rip it, rip it, <gasps> rip it. Rip it, rip it, rip it. Lester, what's going on? Hey, googly eyes. I'm so unhappy. I was just trying to have fun, but because my jokes aren't funny, no one likes me anymore. Some jokes aren't funny because they make other people feel bad. Like my pranks that no one laughs at but me? Exactly. Of course. Graham, what did I do? Graham's my best friend. We have to make it up to him. But how, googly eyes? He likes lemonade. What do I know about lemonade? I know jokes. Come on. Hi, Graham. Sorry to interrupt your cloud watching, but come with me. Lester wants to see you. No way. I'm not falling for that one again. He's gonna call me over, and I'll be all alone and confused while he laughs. But it's not like that this time. How about if I carry you? Well, why didn't you say so? It's a surprise party for you, Graham. A surprise party? Super! <laughs> we even have swamp water for the party. Boring old swamp water, huh? Yep. Have a sip. Hey, is that a pile of lemons behind you? <laughs> but don't worry about that. Just have a sip of your boring old swamp water. Here I go. Boring old swamp water. It's lemonade! My favorite! <laughs> it sure is. That's one funny frog. Googly eyes, would you like a glass of lemonade? I'd love one, but I better get going. Okay, bye. Bye, googly eyes. See you again sometime. Bye.
from the swamp. <laughs> Another treasure for my shoebox. What are you doing, Franny? I have to say sorry to Pickle for tapping on his bowl. Oh, yes? I thought he liked it. No, I liked it. But Lester the Frog and Grand the Gullible Snake showed me that sometimes what you think is fun isn't fun for everyone. And the funnest things are the things everyone can enjoy. That's very grown up of you. Thanks, Grandpa. Pickle's sleeping. I'm sorry, Pickle. 